In this video, we'll, we'll encounter a new class of differential equations, separable differential equations. Now, this is an interesting class for two reasons. Well, some of our applied problems can be modeled using a separable differential equation, and that's the first reason. And secondly, we can solve some of them analytically. You will see what separable differential equations are in this video, and you will also learn the solution method. So, what do we have? A differential equation is separable if dy dx equals a product of f of x and g, uh, times g of y. So on the right hand side, we don't have any function of x and y. No, has to be. Uh, you have to be able to rewrite it in terms of f of x times the g of y. So for example, dy dx equals x times y squared. You can rewrite this as a product f of x equals x cubed times g of y equals y squared. So that is what we call a separable differential equation. Let's take a look at some examples, separable or not. Well, first of all, we have divided x equals e to the power x plus y. It doesn't look that separable, but you can rewrite this in terms as e to the power x times e to the power y. Uh, so you see, also this differential equation is separable because you have f of x equals e to the power x, and g of y equals e to the power y. So this differential equation is separable. Then we look at the second one, divided x equals x plus y. It looks easy, but it is not separable. It is not a function of x times a function of y. It's a sum, it's not a product. So this differential equation is not separable. And then we look at the third one. Wow, this one looks ugly divided x equals 1 plus x plus y plus x times y, doesn't look that separable. But then you notice something nice, you can still separate this one as follows, because on the right hand side we have, in fact, 1 plus x times 1 plus y. So, yes, this third differential equation is also separable, but it's not so obvious at first sight. So, we now know what the separable differential equation is, but how do we solve them? Well, we use the following trick. So we have divided x equals f of x times g of y. Then we put all y's to the left hand side and all x's to the right hand side. So the we divide by g of y and we multiply by dx. So what do we get? 1 over g of y times dy equals f of x times dx. And then second step, we add an integral sign. So we integrate 1 over g of y with respect to y on the left hand side, and we integrate f of x with respect to x on the right hand side. How we can do that? Well, at least if we can find the antiderivatives. That could be a problem, but in principle we can solve several differential equations in this way. So, how do we do it? Well, let's continue with example 1. Divide x equals x cubed times y squared. First we separate it, so we get a 1 over y squared dy equals x cubed times dx. So all, all y's on the left and all x's on the right hand side. Then we add this integral sign. So we get the integral y to the power of minus 2 with respect to y equals integral x cubed with respect to x. So now this, those dx's and dy's are very important because they tell us that we have to integrate with respect to x, or that we have to integrate with respect to y. Well, can we find antiderivatives? Well, in this case we can. Antiderivative of y to the power minus 2 equals minus y to the power minus 1, plus integration constant. And on the right hand side, antiderivative of x cubed equals uh, 1 fourth times x to the power 4, plus an other constant c2. Now, we uh, can clean up some of the mess. We get a 1 over y equals a 1 over 4 times x to the power 4. Uh, we had the additional minus side, so we get a minus c2. Bring the c1 to the other side. We get a minus c1 with the additional minus side of plus c1. And then you see minus c2 plus c1 is some arbitrary constant. So uh, the, the sum of two is also some arbitrary constant, so we can put them together in one constant c. So we have 1 over y equals 1 fourth x to the power 4 plus c. And you can always do this trick with those first order equations. Uh, first order equations like this, uh, there's only one derivative, you only need one constant. 
can always combine the two integration constants in one, as we did in this example. So we will do that later on for all the other examples as well like this. Now, we want to solve for y with 1 over y equals x to the power 4 over 4 plus c, so we can solve for y. y equals 1 over 1 for x to the power 4 plus c. So, now you know what the probable equa differential equation is, how you can try uh, to solve the differential equation. Uh, the problem, a practical problem, is that it may be difficult, first of all, to find the derivative. so there can be a technical problem, and the second problem can be over here, uh, it can be difficult to uh, solve for y, it can be difficult to write y in terms of x, but if you can overcome those uh, technical difficulties, then you can solve several differential equations.